Welcome back. So we're going to start with securing our server. First of all, we need to create a new user and we need to avoid uh, allowing uh, the root user to, to connect. So the first thing we need to do is, for example, if you want to know uh, which users you got, you have in your server, you can apply this this um, command so we got here all the the users so we got here a root but we need to add uh, a new user that is up to you so think of a name uh, the command is add user and my user word is going to be called el kobe i don't know why don't ask me why but it's hard to guess i think and el kobe is already added so we need to add a password for this new user. So a password for whom? For whom? Uh, I'll copy. So um, now it asks us for a password. So we're going to to think of a really hard to guess password. So it's taking me a bit of time. When I already finished, I hit enter. And now it requires me to confirm the new password user. So I confirm, and if it's all right, now it says success. We, I, we need to give uh, uh, root capabilities to this new user. So we're going to edit this, this file with vi editor and we are going to look for root all so if you are a VI user you can do it this much better than me and here is the thing the line that we need to to find so in order to start editing we hit the the i key for i stands for insert so we hit enter and we type the user, in this case for me it's a copy and we copy all the same here so what we are doing here is adding a copy for um, use, uh, root user root uh, capabilities so we can be a master as well in our server so um, we, hit, we hit escape and then we hit two points like that we hit w as stands for right and quit and i don't know this is for like save and exit right and we hit enter but first we need to secure the ssh access so we're going to ssh uh, configuration <clears throat> we list all of the files. We're going to uh, to open this file sshd config but as a measure of precaution we need to back up that file that we need. So this is a, an advice for you guys that before you you change a, some file you need to to back it up. And one way to do it is to copy it with another name, in this case back, standing for backup. So we see again, it is already back up, backed up, so we can confidently edit that file. So in this case I'm going to be using Nano, which is my favorite uh, text editor. So what we're going to do is look for uh, the following line uh, permit root login in nano you can you can search for a keyword by using control plus w and then you you're gonna be looking for permit root login enter and here is so control e to go to the to the end 
So I'm gonna be copying this first line. I'm gonna do I'm doing it this way so I can check out with my eye if I'm typing something wrong. So I hit Ctrl A to go to the beginning and now I comment out this line. So permit root login. So this means that uh, login as a root will not be allowed. So we put uh, control, we hit control O and enter to save the changes and then control X so we leave. And we're going to be restarting. If we restart, the, just remember the, you can still get connected as a root because we have we have not already uh, restarted uh, this service so the changes are not applied immediately until we restart the service you should not close this uh, terminal yet and we will open a new one so let's do it this way and now we cannot connect as a root user so we're gonna test that I'm gonna um, open a new terminal so we're going to test SSH uh, with our new user first and I need my root no yep I got connected so I'm going to to test if I can change to to super user I'm gonna copy the pass super user password and yes I'm super user all right and I can exit and I get back to this common user who am I I am El Covey so from here let's try I'm going to exit so I, I am now disconnected so let's try again with root and if I copy the password this is user is denied so it is no longer possible to get connected to our server as a root user that's fine so the only way to, to do that is to connect through the new user that you have set up El Kobe. so we type the password again I recommend you that this password should be really strong with numbers and you know so if I try yes I'm connected uh, in the next video we're going to be installing the dependencies the required dependencies and finally installing uh, docker